Assalamu alaikum and hello what is up guys this is iMad back with another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use future restore on iOS 14. So I'm going to be showing you how to use future restore to restore to an unsigned iOS version. So in this video I am using my iPhone 10. Right now it is running iOS 14.4 let me show you. So as you can see right now it's running the OTA iOS 14.4 and in this video I will show you how will I downgrade it back to the unsigned iOS 14.3. So as you guys know that I previously had a video on future restore and it had over 150k views but people were demanding to record a new video for iOS 14 future restore so that's why I decided to make a new video for iOS 14 future restore and in this video I will show you the easy way to downgrade using future restore so without any further delay guys let's dig right into the video and start the process of downgrading my iPhone 10 from iOS 14.4 to the unsigned iOS 14.3 so guys before we start you need to take a backup of your device because future restore will completely erase your data so whatever you prefer iTunes, iCloud or any third party service open it and take a complete backup of your device because future restore will completely wipe your device and your device will turn on as a new iPhone so you can use that backup later to restore it so first of all go ahead and take a backup of the device so guys once you have taken the backup of your device go to settings and if you're signed in to iTunes or iCloud account then first of all turn off find my iPhone and after that sign out of your account and after that we will go ahead and get the files ready. So first of all guys go to the github page of future restore by Mariana. So after that guys scroll down to see the file and here you can see that he has also given some information about the branches you need for A13, A14 and A11 and lower versions. So in my case it's an A11. So I'm going to click on the latest compiled version. So I'm going to click here. So after that here it is in my case as of today future restore version 189 is the latest version of future restore. So I'm going to scroll down and here you can see that as of now iOS 14.0 to iOS 14.5 beta 2 restores can be done on A10 and below only and for A11 and above you can only restore to iOS 14.3, iOS 14.4 and iOS 14.5 beta as of now. So after that guys thank you so much Cryptic for compiling this and after that guys I'm gonna scroll down and download the version as you can see here. So I've already downloaded it. So after that I'm gonna download the IPSW file of the version I'm restoring to. So first of all I will have to select the device type. In my case it's an iPhone. So after that uh, I'm gonna select my device. In my case it's an iPhone 10 GSM. But guys if you're not sure about the model of your device whether it's an iPhone 10 Global or iPhone 10 GSM or any other in your case then what you can do is go to identify my device here scroll down and after that go to settings in your device and go to general then about then click on your model number to reveal the model number in my case it's A1901 for iPhone 10 so I'm gonna click on identify my device and it will take me directly to iPhone 10 GSM download page so here guys I'm gonna scroll down and download the version I am restoring to so in my case I'm gonna be downgrading to iOS 14.3 as you read that A11 and above can only be restored from iOS 14.3 to iOS 14.5 versions so I'm gonna be restoring to iOS 14.3 now so here you will have to scroll down and click on download to download the file so the last and the most important thing we need are the blobs so guys to get the blobs you need to get your ecid and after that you need to have your iphone model and if you are on a12 and higher then you also need to specify an app nouns so guys i'm also gonna be giving the link in the description to get the app nouns values for a12 and higher to get your blobs so guys if i am on mojave or lawyer then i will have to launch itunes then go to my device section which is located here after that guys i will have to tap twice on my serial number to reveal my ecid so after that i will have to copy it 
and if you're on macOS Catalina or higher then I'm gonna be giving a link of a post on my website where you can see how can you find the easy ID of your device on macOS Catalina or higher because there is no iTunes on macOS Catalina and higher versions then go to this page again and I'm gonna paste it here after that select your iPhone in my case it's an iPhone 10 GSM as located here so after that I'm gonna click on submit and it will also save the blobs of the latest signed versions and will also reveal me the blobs that I have saved before so guys keep in mind that the blobs can only be saved when the version is still signed I've told you about this like a million times on my Twitter account so to stay updated on these things please follow me on Twitter so now it will give me the link so here is the link I'm gonna open it so you will see that I have been saving the blobs since iOS 13 so here you can see that I have all the blobs since iOS 13.3 to iOS 14.0 so and surprisingly I also have the blobs for 8.4.2, 8.4.3, 8.4.4 and 8.4.6 so I am actually surprised by it but as you can see that here is all of the folders I also have the blobs files in these folders as you can see here so here you can get the blobs so after that guys I'm gonna show you everything you need so here is everything you need guys the IPSW file of the version you are restoring to and the asset, asset blobs file in my case I am using the iOS 14.3 blob because I am restoring to iOS 14.3 and also here is the future restore zip so to get the terminal file I'm gonna double tap on it and here is the file I need so I'm gonna move this one to trash so here are all of the things we need for this downgrade to be possible so guys setting the nose generator value can be different for different jailbreaks so I'm gonna be giving a link in the description where you can check which known setter is for you so in my case I have jailbroken my device using checkrain so I'm gonna be using generator auto setter you can also find a link in the description where I have told you in a video tutorial on how to use generator auto setter by hello michael to set the generator value and also guys the generator value can be different for different blobs so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my blob I've also given the link in the description to find the right generator value for your blob so in my case it is as you can see here 0 x bd34 and as you can see here so after that guys I'm gonna be using new term to set the generator value first of all I'm gonna log in as root for that I'm gonna type su then I'm gonna press enter and then write a l p i n e then I will press enter again and now I'm gonna write the generator value first I will write set generator and after that if your generator value is 0x 16 times 1 then just press enter and as you can see here it has set the generator value to 0x 16 times 1 but just like me if your generator value is different then write set generator again after that copy the generator here in my case it's 0x and after that I have bd34 so I'm gonna write PD34, then it is A880B, then A88, sorry for that, A880B, and after that I'm gonna write E0B, so it's a long value, E0B, then I'm gonna write F53F3, so just I'm gonna write it here, so it is BD34A880B. E0B5, E0B5, 3F3. Then I'm gonna press enter and it will set it as the nose generator value. So, guys, now everything is done and now we just have to restore our device to iOS 14.3 using future restore. So, guys, now we have everything ready. So, let's start the process. So, first of all, you will have to open terminal. If you are on a macOS, then you will have to click on go then click on utilities and here you can find the terminal so in my case I have it down here so I'm gonna open it so here it is I'm gonna move it here then I'm gonna open the future restore folder 
and first of all guys i will have to drag the future restore file here then i'm gonna type dash t and after that i'm gonna drag the blobs file here and after that i'm gonna write double dash then i will write latest then a single dash and then i will have to write latest sep as you can see here and if you are on a device with a sim card then write double dash latest dash baseband and if you are on a device with no sim card then you will have to write double dash no dash baseband in my case i have an iphone 10 and it has a sim card so i'm gonna write latest baseband here then i will give it another space and after that i'm gonna drag the ipsw file of the ios 14.3 here so after that i'm gonna go ahead and connect my device to the macbook so here you can see that i have connected my iphone 10 to the macbook so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press enter to start the process make sure you are connected to internet so it needs to download files from the internet that's why internet is compulsory so i'm gonna press enter now so here you can see that it has started the process so just give it a few seconds if your device gets stuck in recovery mode then guys just repeat the process and it will work just fine so just wait for the process to finish as you can see here it was not able to detect my device in recovery mode so don't panic just enter those commands again and I'm just gonna press enter again without even disconnecting my device. So my device is still connected. As you can see here, it's still prompting me to update or restore my device. So just enter those commands again while your device is connected in recovery mode. And then press enter again. And it will start doing the process again. And this time it will work just perfectly. So guys as you can see here now the restoring has succeeded so i'm just gonna wait for my iphone to turn on and then i'm gonna set it up and i will show you that my device has finally restored to ios 14.3 using sh sh blobs so i'm just gonna wait for it to turn on so now guys my device has been restored to ios 14.3 so let's quickly set it up so I can show you that now I am running iOS 14.3 and I downgraded using SH Asset Blobs. So I'm gonna quickly set it up. So here it is guys. Now without any further delay, let's go to settings. I'm gonna lower the brightness a bit. So now let's go to settings, then I'm gonna go to general, then about, and here you can see here it is iOS 14.3 18C66. So guys in this way you can restore back to the unsigned iOS versions using future restores using SH SH blobs and you can also restore your old backup which was taken on sometimes on a higher version as you know that iTunes prompts an error that you cannot restore this backup because the iOS version of the iPhone is too old for the backup so what you can do is you can watch this video of mine in which i have shown how to edit the backup file to use it on the lower ios versions so guys i really hope that this video helped you if this video helped you then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button to support me in this journey also hit the like button and comment down below if this video helped you and guys if you faced any error then you can go to my twitter account you can also follow me there and send me a dm and i will try to reply you as soon as possible so guys until next time this is imat peace out